Hey Disney Pixar Cars Collectors, welcome to another Collectors Hangout presentation. It is March 20th of 2014 and we have the latest case for Disney Pixar Cars. And we have Luigi and Guido side by side here to help me present this case. In this case you'll find Chisaki, Sidewall Shine, number 74, Sparrowman, number 93, Nigel Gearsley with Flames, Lube Wig, Race Team Sarge with Headset, Mel Dorado, Doc Hudson, and last but not least, Luigi and Guido. This is Chisaki and she is part of the Tuners series and she was previously released as a two-pack in 2013 late 2013 I should say along with Yakuza now you'll see Chisaki in the Tokyo Mater short film and in the Tokyo scene from Cars 2 let's take a closer look at Chisaki same casting as before very uh, I would say gothic looking with the black and uh, all the designs there around the car there are actually little gears if you see that there with a nice uh, plaid spoiler on top which actually looks like some kind of hairpiece if I were to say black lipstick very cool looking this is Chisaki number seven of eight in the tuners series let's see what else is available in the uh, 2014 these are all releases that were available in 2013 so if you missed them then you can get them now in 2014 this is sidewall shine number 74 now the history behind Sidewall Shine number 74 according to the Meet the Cars Disney Pixar book goes that Slider Petrovsky's parents named him Slider after his uncle now when I say Slider I guess Sidewall Shine number 74 his real name is Slider Petrovsky they named him after his uncle a famed dirt track racer called Slide Powers. Now Slide Powers was a gritty makeshift of all tracks in the late 1940s. Slider wanted to be like his uncle. He started racing at an early age. He challenged postal trucks, taxis, delivery vans, as well as all varieties of unsuspecting pedestrian motorists. Word has it that he even raced a police car. But only once. So that, that's the history behind Sidewall Shine number 74. So obviously he has a, a history of racers in his family. And his vehicle type, according to the Disney Pixar book, is Capital Motors. Uh, I guess Capital Motors is the manufacturer. Not that that car even exists in real life, but that's where it originates from. And I'm going to assume that most of the uh, Piston Cup racers are from capital motors let's take a closer look at sidewall shine and see how he looks like up close and again as I said he's part of the piston cup series he is number 15 of 16 and here's what he looks like you can see close up on the back is his sidewall shine and he has all his sponsors right there right in front of the number 74 the hood also says sidewall shine pretty cool looking car very yellow <laughs> as you can see there typical NASCAR style racing car and let's see some of the other cars that are available in that series now these are all re-releases nothing new here all have been released except for no store number one two three for 2014 so we'll expect them later on in the year 
Again, this is Sidewall Shine number 74. This is Experiment number 93, or other known as Ernie Gearson. And Ernie Gearson races for the team Experiment, hence the name Spare O' Mint number 93. While we don't really see him much in the movie, he is one of the oldest racers in the Piston Cup. Let's take a closer look at Experiment number 93 and see what he's all about. As you can see there, first thing I notice when I see him is his blue color with a green leaf and this must be the leaf where you extract mint from. And he's a very simple design with all his typical race car sponsors on the side there. Spare mint on the back here and in the rear tail of the car no headlights just number 93 the NASCARs do not need headlights usually they have decals or stickers or decorations whatever you call them to uh, show that it, just to give you the sense of it being a car but for aerodynamic purposes they don't need headlights but this is experiment number 93 Let's take a look at the back and see what else is available. And I think I just showed this with the previous sidewall shine number 74. So all we're waiting for in 2014 is no stall number 123. This is Nigel Gearsley with Flames. And Mattel has chosen to release some of the cars from the all-in-all -all blowout scene in the Cars 2 movie. And here we're going to take Nigel Gearsley and look at him up close, just to see what I mean. Now the blowout scene is that scene where the lemons use the cameras to ignite the fuel that Miles Axelrod has invented. Now everybody thinks that this fuel is safe, but apparently it isn't. As you can see here, the flame coming out of the bottom shows that he has already uh, his engine has either blown or. The fuel tank has erupted or, or, or caught on fire, but something's not right here. So this is from, from the all-in-all -all blowout scene. Let's take a look at some of the other cars from that scene, which is Magan Carrar, which was a chase in the Case U, Carla Velasco, which has already been released as well, and Nigel Gearsley with Flames, which we have in hand right now. Toa Owen has yet to be released so we'll expect him later on in 2014 so this is Nigel Gearsley with Flames a new release for 2014 here we have Lubwig which is a new release for 2014 and he originates from the Cars 2 movie in the Paris scene when he's waiting for the painter to finish painting uh, a nicer looking portrait of himself with his wife. Now Ludwig, as we look closely here, is a beat up old car. As you see the picture that he's missing some teeth and he's also, I don't know if you can see that there through the blister pack, but he's also missing teeth. Now he has a lot of luggage on top of his rack, two side view mirrors, and very uh, weathered looking, or should I say very beat up looking. He's an old cheap car, I guess. No real indication of any, what type of car he is. But this is a new release for 2014. And he's part of the Paris Tour Series. And he's number four of seven. And let's take a look at some of the other cars in that series. And you'll see there Nancy and John over here on the left. That is currently on the pegs if you are watching this video. You can find that at the same time that you're finding Ludwig. Emmanuel, same thing for him. He is also available as a deluxe. And of course Ludwig is available at this moment because we're holding him at hand. The only car is Louis LaRue. He has not been released as of the recording of this video so we'll see him later on in 2014 
So this is Ludwig, part of the Paris Tour series. Here we have Race Team Sarge with headset. And apparently Mattel is keeping up with the uh, headset series. And we've seen several cars released early on for 2014 with headsets. And I think even late in 2013, there were some cars already released with headsets. Not too many, but some were. Now, Race Team Sarge with headset is self-explanatory. He is part of the Lightning McQueen pit crew set. And he's number three of five. And now we all know the history behind the headset theme there with the Race Team Sarge and all the others is that they're helping Lightning McQueen in Cars 2 in the London race and all the other races overseas because he doesn't have a pit crew. And this is actually his pit crew. All the guys, all the cars that are his friends from Radiator Springs. And he's just basically a, a Sarge with a headset. Nothing, nothing crazy about it. Maybe a little facial expression. But that's about it. Let's take a look at the other cars in that series. And they have all already been released. Race Team Mater with headset. Race Team Sarge as we have in hand. And Race Team Fillmore with headset. These are all cars from the Cars 2 movie. And there are five in the series, so there are two that we haven't spoken about yet. So we'll see what Mattel decides to do later on in the year with that. But this is Race Team Sarge with headset. This is Mel Dorado, part of the Mel Dorado show series. And he has already been released for 2012, I believe. He was not released in 2013. So if you don't, if you don't have him... Now is the time to get him. Now, I already have him. I had him from 2012. But I wanted to pick up another one because I think he's so cool looking. What I like best about this particular casting is his glasses. <laughs> I mean, what car wears glasses? I mean, I just find that so, so funny looking. But I, I like this particular casting. He's pretty heavy. He looks like an old Lincoln car or some sort. But uh, he has a very classy look. And the back plate actually says Fishbowl. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Actually, this is a Cadillac. This isn't a Lincoln. I just saw the back had the, the uh, Cadillac crest. So this is Mel Dorado, and he's number five of nine. Let's see what else is available in that series. Now, most of these cars, I should say all of these cars have already been released. That you see pictured here. This is one of the more recent ones. And you see Hudson Hornet, Piston, Cup, Lightning McQueen. Waiter Mater, which is a carryover from 2013. And Lee Race. I hope I said that right. I don't know if this has an apostrophe there at the end. I think that's, you have to say that with an accent. But Lee Racy, Lee Race. Hey, somebody help me out with this. But he is a current chase, uh, actually the, uh, a chase for the previous case, which is uh, ironically is simultaneously being released with this case. I've seen both on the pegs at the same time. But this is Mel Dorado. Cool casting. If you like old school cars, this is one for you. This is Doc Hudson, and this is plain old Doc Hudson, the one you see in the movie that's the judge. And the one that tells Lightning McQueen to fix the road. And currently, Toys R Us has an exclusive on the Doc Hudson, the Hudson Hornet, I should say, with all the race decos and all the cool looking decorations on him that make him look like a race car. Now, I'll show you what that looks like briefly, just so you know what I'm talking about. This is Hudson Hornet, the fabulous Hudson Hornet available only at Toys R Us as an exclusive so if you want both this is cool you should go get there go to Toys R Us and get it now this Doc Cousin hasn't been released to the mainline in a while it's been a Toys R Us exclusive for 2013 and a three-pack Radiator Spring set with Mater and Ramon 
Now let's take a closer look at Doc Hudson. Typical Doc Hudson. Blue in color. And he's the same casting as the uh, Hudson Hornet. Just without all the all the decos. So this is a cool casting to have. And he's number 14 of 15 from the Radiator Springs collection. Let's see what else is in that collection that we should know about. And most of these cars you have already seen. They are all available on the pegs as we speak at your local retailers. Lizzie's a hard one to find. And if you watch some of my previous videos, or actually my previous video showing the case why, I explain why she's hard to find. But everything else here has been released. And I assume there will be more new or different castings since it says 15 available in this series. So this is Doc Hudson. So this is Luigi and Guido and they were released a while back in a supercharged Movie Moments 2 pack. Now the reason why they dressed up this way is because they were cheering on the race between Doc Hudson and Lightning McQueen in the first Cars movie. Here's what that 2 pack looks like. And as you can see right here on the card stock, that's the scene from the movie when they were just cheering for the racers in that particular scene in the movie. Now ironically this is a supercharged set and I, I'm not sure why they call it supercharged but it's a cool set to have. Now that particular set was supercharged but what if we made them into a super chase? Wouldn't that be cool? Yes, super chase. This is a current release for this case, Luigi and Guido as Lightning McQueen fans. And they pretty much have the same look as what I just showed you. The only thing is, now all their gear says Lightning McQueen. He has a number 95 with a lightning bolt there. He has a uh, hat there with all 95 logos and American flags. So my oh my, what a turn of events here. So this is the current Super Chase available for 2014. Now just notice there, there's a big difference there with the color in the hair. You'll see they are yellow and red versus the old version which has for Italian colors. And I'll show you a close up of that. Now here are the differences. You see that? That's the way it originally looked like versus the new Super Chase version. And in this version he has a big Ferrari flag. However, in the Super Chase version he has a small little American flag. But hey, it's cool. So this is what they look like side by side basically the same casting but with new features the old version had Ferrari logos and the new one has American with Lightning McQueen logos so this is a 2014 Super Chase this is the second Super Chase of 2014 the previous one was Trike Feldman you can see him in a previous video so Mattel has me in uh, great anticipation to see what's going to bring for 2014 because I don't know what the super chases are going to be for 2014. I thought it was one thing and now they're coming out with something different. So this is it. It's Luigi and Guido, Lightning McQueen fans, super chase. Thanks again for watching. I hope that this video has been informative. Please like, subscribe, share the video. Any comments are appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video.